In basic terms, a dolphin's echolocation works like this. The animal produces a series of low and high frequency sounds that are transmitted through its forehead. After these sonic waves hit an object, echoes bounce back. The greater the distance, the longer the delay in their return. When the dolphin receives the reflected signals, it forms a mental image of the target's location, size, and speed. When they're chasing a fish, they'll go into a huge school of fish and they'll zero in on one fish and they'll follow that single fish until they catch it. And, and if that fish jumps out of the water, they're right there jumping out of the water with it. Echolocation requires several component parts, each designed for a specific function. When integrated, they form the most efficient sonar system on Earth, natural or man-made. Dolphins have no vocal cords, yet they produce a wide range of sounds. The process is pneumatically driven, controlled by the flow of air. Rising to the surface of the ocean, the dolphin exhales, then takes a quick breath. The instant the animal submerges, the blowhole shuts tightly as inhaled air rushes through the nasal passages on its way to the lungs. The engine that drives sound production is the larynx, a piston-like organ covered by muscles. It controls the flow of air through twin passages in the skull, each sealed by a retractable plug. When the larynx is pushed upward, the nasal plugs automatically open and air moves freely toward two sets of flaps called the phonic lips. The phonic lips are the main sound generators and they're designed to work individually or in unison. When the pressurized air hits the lips from below, they vibrate rapidly and produce bursts of the high and low frequency clicks at rates up to 2,000 clicks per second. It's an action that's been compared to the vibrating lips of a trumpet player blowing through the mouthpiece of his instrument. Once air passes through the phonic lips, it is stored in pairs of inflatable sacs. When these sacs are full, they quickly deflate as muscles squeeze the air back down the system, past the open nasal plugs, and back into the lower cavities of the skull. Responding to the change in pressure, the larynx retracts, creating space for the recycled air. When the skull cavity refills, the larynx elevates to increase the air pressure. This triggers the nasal plugs to open, and a new cycle of clicks begins. By recycling the inhaled air, the dolphin can delay having to surface for another breath. That way, it can continue to echolocate for more than 10 minutes. This entire system operates with critical balances and regulation. Every component has to work perfectly within fractions of a second.